Hey guys, Angry Joe here. I'm still working my way through uh, my latest review. Obviously, it's going to take me a while. Uh, so on the channel, there's going to be uh, you know some let's plays, impressions, uh, tournaments, that kind of thing uh, in between until I can get the next review out. This first one up here is a video I did in conjunction uh, with uh, Stardock to promote uh, Galactic Civilizations 3, which is a fucking fantastic strategy space game for X games uh, if you've been following me for all these years you know how much I love I love these types of games and uh, they contacted me and I said hell yeah I was gonna do a video anyway on it uh, so we did a stream where I gave away a bunch of codes and I showed off the game how to create yourself in the game it's almost like an RPG but just you 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 command an empire so we created the angry army I created corporate commander in there Konami CEO uh, EA CEO that kind of stuff and uh, and then I created Arnold Schwarzenegger or Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up in the game uh, so and then I show up basically show, sort of do like a tutorial on how you start a game like this since it's a little bit uh, on the higher learning curve but it's an amazing game the customization blows anything else out of the water diplomacy blows anything else out of the water uh, there does need to be some tweaks to the AI uh, but I think they might have already put out a few patches for that so we had a lot of fun so I put together a play session here for you this is part one uh, it's basically almost like a uh, a creation slash tutorial on how to start and then part two is basically gonna be all space battles and all fighting uh, so stay tuned for that that's probably gonna be later on in the week and still working on the review so give me uh, a few more days on that and uh, okay I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show and check out this video Earth is fucked in this game It's surrounded by an alien armada from the last game, if you've been following Galactic Civilizations, these guys have been beating the hell out of everybody. And for some reason, this race says humans are the great threat in the galaxy. What the f- We're surrounded, buddy! We're fucking surrounded! How are we the threat? And then all of a sudden, boom! Jar Jar Binks, glad to see you here, man! I hope you become a regular Jar Jar. Maybe sub. Sub to us so you can use those cool emotes. I'll get you a Jar Jar emote. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Because it's... Alright, so the humans, apparently the humans have come back. They come through a warp hole, uh, wormhole and are now sort of liberating Earth. It's like, whoa, shit, humans from the pocket universe have come back. And their technology is all badass and shit. Now, we c Jar Jar, if you wanted, you know, I know you get a lot of hate from Star Wars. If you wanted, you can make yourself and you can make the mighty Gungan Empire in the game. Let me show you. Um, so let's start a new game. Now, I created myself. See, boom! That is <laughs> so fucking cool, guys. That is ridiculously cool. Um, so the home world is Austinina, Austin, Aust, Austinina, <laughs> that's, uh, Austin, Texas, the leader, Angry Joe, of course, I should put Lord Commander Joe, actually, I'm gonna change that, but anyway, so, I've got Clever, <laughs> just because I need that research, I got Handy, I'm a handy man, alright, I got Militant, of course, plus one Militant, uh, Poor Farmers, because I suck at uh, farming, and farming is boring. Um, and then I'm tough. But, you know what? If you're not happy with whatever race that you pick here... See, these guys have fancy ones. Like, I could see this guy breathing. I don't have the breathing. I don't... I can't breathe in space. <laughs> Let's create our own, okay? Um, I'm gonna create a new angry army. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick this one. All right, race overview, race, select race name. The Angry Empire. Logo. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. Right, we could use that, or boom! Boom! <laughs> what do you think about that shit? <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, ship call sign, wow, there is so much customization in this shit, okay. 
Uh, I don't like SSS. SSS is too many S's. What should it be? It should be the Angry Navy? The... The A-N... The A-N-S. Angry Navy ship? After corporate ravaged Earth, a small resistance formed and took advantage of their focus off-world. Cause, you know, corporate expanded to all the other planets. We expelled them from Earth. Now the Angry Empire seeks to battle corporate across the galaxy. Traits and abilities. Yes, good. Looks like y'all agree. Uh, yes, you did. Appearance. Choose the ship. Man, there is so much customization. In fact, of all the 4X games I've seen, this probably has the most customization of, of all of them uh, so far. So we kind of got a little little Star Trek-ish ship there. And ship colors, we've got... Let's see if we can go with some angry colors here. That looks pretty cool. I wish I could actually pick the, you know, red and black. Ooh! Red and black right here. Oh, hell yes. I need I need a deeper black on that, though. Steel? Ooh, steel looks cool, but we lost the red. Obsidian. Yes, that is the black that I want. If you combine that black with the red, then we'd be fucking awesome. But we're gonna need some red. Agreed. Bloodstone, it looks like. Okay, materials? Surface? Oh, shit! We can change the fucking surface! Look at this! This game is insane! It's like a fucking RPG, but just in space! 15 surfaces? How many goddamn surfaces? 19 surfaces. Oh, shit. Star Man. Oh, fuck! That is really cool. Titanium... Or, I'm sorry, Tim, Timonium, Timonium, <laughs> it's like, that is really awesome, Antimatter, Thor, Chrome, dude, we're gonna go with Tim, Tim whatever, I, I, I wish I had more black on that Tim, 36 to 45, but the song is now over, and we go back to the game, Pragmatic wins. All right, select a character trait trait that can be used to describe this race. More likely to take an extreme action in response to diplomatic slights. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do not cross into our territory or we will be very angry. Save race. Woo! The new improved Angry Empire. Lord Commander Joe, kind of a long name, but whatever. Create custom race. Okay, so we could play right now, or we right before we play, we can create corporate commander and his forces of evil. You want to do that? I think that'll be fun. Let's create corporate commander. Um, let's see a background. Oh shit! It's on, bitch. Oh, hey, get out of here. Go on, get. Go, go on, get. Go on, get! Oh, you know what? Because he's in the foreground, that's what it is. Here's the Gal Sith. Factions, leader foreground, leader foreground, paste, corporate commander. Boom. Do we need to restart the game? Probably. Probably. Nope! Dropped it right in there. Nice! Nice! Quick fix. Fuck yeah. I want it all to fit there. So let's just put Corp Commander. <laughs> He's the Konami CEO. <laughs> right, right now. <laughs> we'll make it topical. Race logo. Corporate Commander. I, I prepared that earlier. Short name. EA. <laughs> the, uh, the ship call sign. The, the EAS. No, 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 no. 
the the S S S, right? Homeworld. <laughs> Nintendo Japan. <laughs> no, let's just play it. Konami. Konami headquarters. <laughs> That's some funny shit. <laughs> there you go. After generations of ravaging the earth through shitty video games and mobile bullshit, corporate took to the stars to sell their microtransactions and to unsuspecting alien races, making Googles of money. So much so that they forgot mostly about earth when the AJSA pushed them off system. All right. Let me get through some of this um, <clears throat> ship selection and then we can... Ocean inverted. Most of y'all picked ocean. Good, good. But they can't have the same ships as us. Ooh, that looks scary. The Iconians look, fuck, look friggin' scary, dude. Um, if only I can make that green or make that a red... Flashing red. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Alright, personality. So what do they favor? They favor... Research and influence? No, they favor expansion. And they are definitely malevolent. They are not benevolent or pragmatic. Uh, they are aggressive, cruel, expansionist, greedy, opportunistic, scientific... They're not spirit. They're, they are traitors. And we won't make them xenophobic. They should be racists. Yeah. But that's going to make them harder to deal with other races. When they're really... They're not racists because they want to make money off you. So they'll deal with you. So as long as you give them money. How about building the Enterprise? Yes. Uh, Joe, the ship has to be named DLC. Oh, that's a good one, Sarge. The DLC. Nice. Thank you, Sarge. Good idea. Capcom. I don't know. Capcom has been pr pretty quiet, pretty good recently. I don't think Capcom kind of... Hey, name, name something Capcom's done recently. I, I think they've got it. I think Capcom starts to get it now. We're gonna set a galaxy, maybe tiny, so that we can have some quick battles. Tight clusters. Uh, star, star set victory conditions games. Okay. <laughs> Before I go any further, I just want to say, hands down, this is the best customization I've ever seen in a 4X game. Hell, possibly a strategy game. Even more customization than in... Uh, um, why am I drawing a blank? Civilizations, and I love Civilization. Give that Civilization Five a Brave New World. I gave a ten out of ten to Star Frequency. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with any of this right now, though. But you can really go quite a bit into to feature turn, to feature opponents before turns, alliance, ascension, research, influence. Conquest. No, screw it. We'll make it suicidal. We are facing corporate commander. <laughs> we're gonna get crushed. Like, right off the bat, we're gonna get crushed. Angry Empire. Selected opponents. We have to put in corporate. Godlike. Oh my god, no. We we need a we need teams. Let's put in the, the the Terran Alliance and make and have them be our buddies. Or if Dell would get on, Dell can be in this game with us. We do multiplayer with Dell. Let's go challenging. Here we go. Get Dell. Hold on, let's just check this out first.
Time to explore. Okay, so this is a small galaxy here. And there's five races. This is way too small for five races. What do you guys think? There's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then maybe another 5 or 6, 20 planets. I don't know. 20 planets for 5 races. Whoa. Ascension Crystal. Build a Xeno Arcology Module on a nearby star base to study this precursor crystal to unlock the secrets of ascending to a higher plane of existence. We got lucky. Nice. That's fucking cool. <laughs> no, I'm going with this starting position. <laughs> Angry land. It's a dead planet. A dead world devoid of life. This is also devoid of life. Barely habitable. Our fucking ships look sweet. All right, let's just let's just start with this, okay? So um, I'm gonna set my seeker, give him a command to immediately explore the galaxy, so he can find some suitable suitable things here. I've got a what is this? The prospector, an escort, long range vessel suited for mapping stars. See his range here is this outline here. So let's have him start. Um, exploring this way and actually we'll have my scout go this way instead okay and for angry land we'll double click there earth oh she's so beautiful okay so in my games I like to specialize my planets I don't like to build you know this and that I like to build all one thing on a planet so let's go with a certain strategy. Let's go with like massive military production, like industrial complex. We don't give a shit about pollution or anything like that. We're just gonna, you know, pump up the factories. I'm just gonna, in fact, I'm gonna make nothing but fact. Here, I'll leave this space open. No, get out of here. No, screw it. I'm gonna put factories on everything. And then our next planet will make like a research planet. So eight turns. Um, one strategy I like to do is I like to buy. Um, I'm going to buy this one because if you notice, if you place factories next to other factories, you'll get a bonus. It says plus one to manufacturing. So you want to kind of stick things together. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually buy. We have 5,000 credits. It requires 450 to buy. We'll buy one right off the bat. Shit, which one did it buy? Oh, this is going to be rushed. Um, okay, so here's another thing. I'll, I'll just hit the turn button and we can get past that. But, okay, we got a research next. Oh, sweet. They got sort of FMVs in here. These guys move. That's cool. Um, I've seen this in humans, so it depends on uh, what your what your race is. There's a human here, and then it's a different model from the other human, the commander. He's like a scientist, um, and I think it's pretty cool that they put effort into videos. I always love this. This reminds me of you know uh, Masters of Orion and stuff. So obviously, our first research we're gonna go with industrial uh, adaptation because that's gonna give us our specializations the Xeno factories and the research laboratories. The Xeno factories and the Xeno research laboratories, that's gonna be the best for us. All right, so now we gotta build some ships at our space yard, shipyard rather. Uh, we already have, um, so the ship customization in this game is insane. I wish I, like the designer, like I wish I was good at this kind of stuff because I'm not. <laughs> It would be so cool to be good to create these ships. Let me just show you what is actually possible when you create ships. Um, I have some of it pulled up. Because I was like, all right, Steam Workshop, somebody do this for me. <laughs> because y'all are way better at it. So I went on the forums and I looked at some of the ships people have created. This to me looks like a, a, a cool ship. 
Now this, I want this. This I want. I want to make fighters, dude. I am such a Babylon 5 freak. This, is, if anybody knows what this is, it's a Star Fury from Babylon 5. It looks exactly like a Star Fury. That is so fucking cool that you can make pretty much anything that you want. Several uh, designs here. This kind of looks like the was there's a there's a Japanese anime, the Yamato or something like that. That's a pretty that's a pretty sweet ship design. I wonder if I can upload these designs into the game. I'm sure I can. But I don't know how to do it right now. Okay, and then we got Mr. Star Trek here making all this Star Trek. Warhammer 40K, hell yeah, that's a good idea. A lot of people forget that Warhammer 40K has Battlefleet Gothic uh, type ships that look cool. This guy made a custom uh, United Federation of Planets. His ships look pretty damn good. What is this, Dragon Ball Z? Oh shit! <laughs> Somebody put Majin Buu in the game? <laughs> That's crazy. What is that? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z ships. Borg cubes, of course. Hell yes. Fuck yes. I want that. Borg cube. There are also ship designs on the Steam forums already. Here's another version of the Star Fury. This is more like the Thunderbolt. Because there's an alternate version. That's not a Star Fury. That's a Thunderbolt. If anybody... I'm a nerd. I know these things. And this. This is a Hyperion Cruiser. Nerd. I know. Oh, that's awesome. So pretty much you can make anything in this game. And that's the other extremely cool part about this game. You can make whatever you want. But... I'm not talented enough, or I actually don't have enough time on this stream because I, you know, want to get to battles. Angry land. Turn. What is out there in the galaxy? What the f is this? Asteroids and th thulilium. Thulilium. I'm an idiot. Build a mining star base nearby to harvest this resource. Asteroids. Oh shit. Lush. Solvius. A planet with amazing potential. I think we found our candidate. Settler 1. You know your destination. Expand the empire. For corporate can be anywhere. We have no idea where corporate is. Ah. We see an, a race. Who is this? Ah, the humans. Okay. So this is a branch of corporate that they broke off of corporate. They're human as well. They're not they're not bad guys. They just broke off and, and made their own little land on Mars. It's the Mars colony. Get your ass to Mars. This is Arnold. Arnold's colony. What are you doing? What are you doing, Angry Joe and your forces? We are friends, okay? Don't attack me. Alright, let's check up on uh Let's buy a factory right now. Speed that along. We'll rush. Incoming message. <laughs> See, we don't understand their language. Even though they're humans, they've been away from Earth for so long that their, their language talking to each other uh, in the Arnold language they just don't understand him anymore uh, so we, we will we will fake smile and nod as if we understand then proceed to the to the in, to close the mess yes hi okay uh, yes you uh, very good <laughs> very good Oh, they're Earth. This is bullshit. We have Earth. <laughs> Angeropolis. We'll do Angeropolis first. Sweet video. Oh, they put effort into this shit. Our new home. First colony. Finally, after their long journey, your colonists set foot on an alien world. 
Untold effort and struggle were required to get even this far, but it is only the beginning. The galaxy is filled with worlds for the taking. Beautiful. Whoa! An event! So, yeah, this is definitely giving me a civilization feel. I fucking love that game. It's just in space. And after the travesty, the utter travesty that was Starships, Sidmere Starships, which is garbage, I'm glad that Civilization 3, uh, Galactic Civilization 3 is, is, um, is letting me scratch that itch. Comet. A comet has re-entered the solar system after a 50-year absence, throwing a primitive local species into a frenzy. They apparently worship this regularly returning visitor as a god. So, uh, we'll let the comet pass through the system unmolested this time, but once it's no longer visible from the ground, go ahead and salvage it. Then go drag another one out of the Oort cloud and put it into the same orbit. That's... That's pretty cool. 40% research? Oh, hell yes. Negative 100 credits, though. That's fine. This will be our research planet. Angertopolis. Anger, or Angertopia. What, did we, what do we call it? Fuck. Kill the god, then tell them we did it. Mount part of the comet on a spike outside our colony as well. Damn, that's some fucked up shit, boy. Ugh. I'm gonna go with number two. That that's just way too evil. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, oh, my, oh, 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 oh my god. No, it Ort. Ort oh. Okay, done. Kill the god and tell them I did it. No. Oh, this planet is not that good. We're gonna have to terraform it to get more spaces. Um, but let's definitely make this a research planet. Uh, come over here to build that, build that. Research. Maybe it's a little too early for research. See, I'm, I'm kind of a noob still. Uh, maybe we should build more factories uh, first. All right, this has ancient ruins, draw tourists, and add value to nearby research facilities. Fuck yes. Um, precious metals, veins of precious metals make this an ideal spot to make some profit. Okay, maybe we'll wait to put a market on this. We'll, we'll get some economic stuff going and, and put an economic building on that. That is just so cool that you see these angry army icons. I love this. That's, I'm already, you got me. You got me on that alone. So we're just kind of cruising through Arnie's territory here. See what kind of planets he's got. We'll give this, uh, no, an explore command. Ideology. Time to pick our ideology. So because we did that with the god, the asteroid, we can pick one pragmatic. But here's malevolent. Oh, that looks so cool. The cities. Pragmatic cities. Oh, that looks cool too. Benevolent. Actually, that sort of looks like Mass Effect. That's pretty cool, too. Alright, so Vigilant. Um, pragmatic civilizations know that it's better to be safe than sorry and prepare to face the harsh realities. We can get... Allows the building of a preparedness center, which produces pragmatic ideology. Nah. Builder. Gains three free constructors? Damn! Each constructor can build us a star base, which will expand our influence and can fuel our ships to go further range. It's got to be the constructor. What do you guys think? Traders? Grants a free freighter and trade license? Nah. Remember, we're kind of shitty traders. Our race is not, not that great. Negotiations. No one will declare war on us for 50 turns because nobody, uh, everybody likes us. Totally. Builder is the best. Builder's the best one. We're going with that. Three constructor vessels. So we got stacked ships. So you can have stacks. The constructor vessel looks awesome. So we can build a star base, but we don't really know where we need the star base. Yes, we do. We need a star base right here. Build a Xeno Archaeology archaeology module. But do we even have the technology for that? Let's see. We can check our tech tree here. And Xeno... What was it again? It was Xeno Archaeology. 
Oh shit, it's in um, it's way over here. Exploration, interstellar travel, interstellar survey, xeno archaeology. Yeah, so it's about it's a little ways away. So we'll just prepare for that. Build that here. In the meantime, let's get some of these. Here's another mechanic in the game. You, these are like exclusive um, special resources that allow you to build different types of ships. And we want to claim this before and this during uh, Durantium before Arnold here gets smart and tries to claim them for his own. So let's uh, build a constructor like right here. You know what? We'll fly him out a little bit further because if I create a starbase here. It should be able to see his range, that that um, that hex, the large hex around here. It should be able to grab this, this, and this. But but I think you have to put one next to each, actually. So in that case, we better go grab this Durantium quick. If it's one for each, then let's go grab it right now before he does. No! No, you son of a bitch, Arnold! I fucking hate you! You took the fucking relic and the Durantium. Oh, you done pissed me off, Arnold. My, my... My, 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 my beef was with corporate, but now you're pissing me off, you see. Can I still build this? Here, let's save. And see if I can fucking get this from him. You son of a bitch. How dare you take both of these things. Oh shit. Oh fucking shit. Corporate is right next to us guys. We got Arnold on one side pissing us off and corporate on the other side. Huh? We'll, we'll act like we don't know what they're saying. Huh? Huh? Oh, explore their shit right now. Creator. It's a cargo ship. Fragile cargo ship. Got their shipyard right here. Alright. The song is over. That's, enough. That's it for the giveaway. Um, let me talk a little bit more about Galactic Civilizations before my, my dad shows up. So, uh, how was our session? Well, uh, my final impressions basically from the session is um, I, f I like it a lot. Um, it feels like, you know, obviously civilizations in space, if, if they did it, you know, the travesty, star what is it, starships, Sid and mirrors is garbage, this is what it should have been, this is really awesome. Of course, they've been working on this for a long time, you know, Ga Galactic Civilizations 2 and 1 before it, 3 just seems to have so much more in it. That, that, uh, ship creator is insane. You can literally create any ship you can think of, you can create it. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a Steam community that has all sorts of really cool designs that you can uh, build. So that's going to be awesome. I have never seen such awesome, in-depth customization uh, for, for your empire. It goes really in-depth and detailed, so that is another cool feature. Um, the, the, everything feels really solid, tight. Uh, it's really cool and you know what this game includes so you there's a tutorial that will guide you through some of it however in my opinion the tutorial is not quite strong enough even though it's actually good it's a substantial tutorial in fact an alien race you're, you you start next to an alien race and they're like hey man what's up here let, let, let's help you out if we're gonna live in the same galaxy let's talk together so I thought that was creative but it doesn't unfortunately go through a lot of the elements so you do kind of still need to go on YouTube look for some strategies and some tutorials you see what I sort of did there. I had a really strong start and then I kind of, you know, my mid game is not so good. I need to figure out what to do. Obviously, we needed to buff our research. I think it was because we played on a tiny galaxy that I wasn't able to get research planets and colonize and colonize. So when you play, I'd recommend playing on a small map instead of tiny. Uh, at least tiny with five, uh, five AI is a little too much. But uh, so start with small. And uh, <clears throat> another cool thing about it is it actually has a campaign 
So, like, we're talking a real story. <coughs> so, in this case, you know, you have objectives, you have a fleet. A lot of these 4X games, they don't bother with that. They just give you the sandbox. Now, obviously, the sandbox is the most important, and that's what people uh, uh, that play these games love. But the sandbox element here is really cool. And look! Oops, damn it! I clicked through the... <laughs> I click through the um so now you're sort of choosing what you want to be and and now you you have like you st oh, 10 freaking ships so a battle starts right away you're you're in this huge fleet battle no we got we have to go back because I want to see what that is so to offer this in addition to the sandbox to me cuz civilization doesn't even offer the sandbox offering the campaign in addition to the sandbox is like two games in one Plus, you get these cutscenes. This is this is more than I expected. This is really cool. So I'm gonna skip through this so that you guys so that I don't spoil it. We're gonna be bad guys. We're we're humans that come back to help the the humans in need in this galaxy. Let's go fuck some shit up. Let's see a a, a real battle between the massive fleets. Hell yes, this is the kind of shit I wanted to see. Whoa! Hell yeah. Boom, 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 boom. We're back, bitches. They're screwed. Sweet. And so it's like your objective to like capture our Ar Arcia, I think. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, maybe we bit off more than we can chew. Oh, but no, look at our technology is insane. Even though they have way more units. Y'all want to see this battle? Hell yeah. Let's watch the pew pews. Oh, fuck! We could do it. Look at this dreadnought sized ship here. Oh, the fighters. We got incoming fighters. Fuck yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, they're starting to lose ships. Oh, we're starting to lose. Oh, fuck. 12 ships to 18 ships. Oh, now, now they're, now they're eating it. In close range, they are eating. Oh! Dreadnought is down. They can't do shit anymore. They are fucked. We've killed everything. I was looking for enemies. Is that? Yep. 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 There's a few more. <laughs> mop up. Time to mop up. So this is when this game really opens up and gets super freaking cool. Uh, when you have these massive type fleet battles. My empire was kind of spurting along there without the technology. Ooh, this battleship coming around. Oh, he didn't even need to. So the campaign gives you that those those big battles right away. It's such a such a smart design to do. So it's such a smart thing to do. Oh, let's go back to them. So you got the most amazing uh, race customization, the most amazing uh, ship designer um, in in space strategy uh, 4x games, and uh, and a single player campaign. And that's not even taking into account multiplayer. I got Dell a copy, and we were gonna uh, actually stream it for you, where we play together. Um, the Holy one <laughs> Foster guy. Why is that not popping up on the screen? There it goes. Thank you, Foster guy. Yeah, fifty dollar donation. Who? 
Who was it? Z Vlad0404. I'm so sorry about that, man. I think I put that thing down. Fireworks, yay, $5. Thank you very much. And Reeti Fruity, thank you very much for your sub. Appreciate it. And One, uh, one Wing Hero, thank you very much. Um, okay, so what was I going to say? One last thing. Uh, here are my concerns. We were playing on... We were playing on challenging, and the AI was sort of a push over there, at least the corporate AI. I felt like the corporate AI could have been massing his fleets together uh, with his resources and, and laying into us. We are at war, after all, and I made sure uh, when I created Corporate Commander to make him uh, aggressive, um, and he didn't seem to, to act too aggressive. Oh, no, I didn't. He's just paranoid and knowledgeable. Okay, maybe I should have made him aggressive. When I remake this custom race, I'll make him aggressive. So I'm a little worried about the AI and whether they're able to punch back. So we'll have to see on that. But other than that, and I'm sure that that's just a patch or something that they could do for the AI. But uh, I really enjoyed the game. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the stream. And I guess I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow.